All right, folks, for you guys with an Epson printer, this one is a XP446. If you're having a, print, a problem with your printer and it's not printing anything on your paper, it could be people say that it's the ink. So they go out and buy all the ink and you still have the same problem. Nothing comes out on the paper. Uh, if it does, it comes out very light. Okay, even with new ink. But you actually kind of see something. So it's kind of printing, but you're just not getting the color. Okay, so I'm going to show you what to look for and how to clean the pieces that are right underneath this piece here. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take the color off. I'm going to take one of them off. What we do is going to squeeze that little clip in the back closer to the Y. And then this thing will come right out. So you could do this here for you. Oh, it's hard to do it that way without something pointing down. Let me see. All right. Let's make let's do this figazi setup here. Anyway, squeeze this little tab in the back. And this ink cartridge will come right out. Okay? Put it off to the side. And you see inside, there's a little pointy thing there. See it? It's got the yellow ink in it. Okay? Looks like a little pencil tip. Okay, it looks like that. What you can't see with the naked eye, if you look really close, is a little tiny hole right there that comes out. Okay? In that little tiny hole is where the ink actually drips into. Okay? So in the naked eye, sometimes you can't see that it's clogged. So what you do is you take a little rubbing alcohol, you put it in a Q-tip, and you go and you clean that area up. So what I usually do is I go and I clean that area up first with all the ink that that's left there right now. You go and you take a little swab and you clean it up really good. Let's see if I can do this here. It's hard to mark this up over here without the proper tools. Okay. But to get the basic idea, okay, what you want to do is you want to clean that all up with your swab. Swab it all around. Get all that yellow out. See it? You want to clean that whole point up. Okay, once you clean that point up, you're going to go get some rubbing alcohol. Okay? And the same thing. Clean that whole point up with the rubbing alcohol. Dab it into the point. Clean this all up. That's what you got to do. Clean this all up. Dab it. Keep doing it. You might have to go through maybe 10, 15 of these things. Okay? Just clean it up around the area. The whole point. The whole castle top. And dab it right into that hole there. And you'll notice that the rubber alcohol is going to fill in that little hole there. And clean it out. If you want, you do it at all four. Okay? That's what I did. Did all four of it. Clean the bottom up. Clean the tower up. And it's nothing but just four nice clean black towers then after that then you're good to go try that and see if that solves your problem okay because that's what solved this one so you can see all the yellow that's on there okay like i said keep going use your swab clean it until it's nice and clean okay until there's nothing left of the ink whether it's black magenta or the blue okay after that you put your little your ink back in click it back on okay squeeze the tab and then you're good to go and it should solve your problem all right try it matter of fact if you know that your ink level is good try that first because sometimes ink Especially printers, if you don't use it enough, the ink just dries, fills up that little hole, and then nothing's going to drip down. And of course, you're not going to get no color. Other than that, there's really nothing you could do here. There's nothing you could take apart there to clean. That's all you can do. All right? That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Ciao.